and see photo video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use the live filter layers to create some really interesting effects and as a layer you can move them around so you can duplicate them, delete them and they're non-destructive. That's the key thing. You know, if you apply a filter and there's a whole range of filters in Infinity Photo, just go here, you've got a range of that's it, you apply them, that's the whole image destroyed. Obviously you can duplicate the layer and so on and so on. But live filters, you don't have to worry about that. You can remove them at any point, shift them around and much more. So key panel, layers. Go to layers and go to view and not windows as in Photoshop, but view, studio and layers. So once you've got that, then what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually just going to quickly go up here to a layer and duplicate. So I want to actually create a second one. So I've got two layers now. Now what you can do with this layer and the key thing here is that you actually select it. So I'm just going to just go down there. Is you actually select the layer that you want to apply the effect to. Do that. So, so you can just go to layer, new layer filter layer, and I'm going to go for Gaussian blur filter. And straight away, you've got the effect down there. It always puts it down there. So let's move that across. So you can blur that. And that effect is applied to that set of pixels. That one isn't affected. So if you actually just say, at this point, I'm just going to go there. You can actually see, that's it. I can actually get rid of that one and that. And you've still got the original one there. It will have that little red line as well, saying that obviously it's deactivated, which is a bit weird because you've already deactivated it there. You can see. Anyway. Right, so you can actually bring that back very quickly, bring it in. You can also apply it to the whole thing. So you just select there, and you can see you just select it, just select that little image, and then drag it up there. And then that's applied to the whole image. So what you just do, just go down here, and then set that to say, multiply. And obviously you've got a different image. And I'm gonna now apply another filter effect, so it's different, so it's slightly different. So layer, and new, a live filter layer, and I'm going to go for something that makes it really stand out. That one there. Again, it puts it down that bottom one, and you can see the effect just being applied there because of the blending mode. So you just go up there, you see it's multiplied. So if I change that, you can see through there, darken at that point. And again, just to modify the effect, just double click there to bring up your panel again, it puts it down there. Which is really great and you can then modify the effect like that. Now if you want to plot add that to the other one you can just drag that up up to there and put it there and you can see now the lens distortion has been added to that one there and you can actually just remove that one as well if you wish. So you can actually just click there just select that and move that there and now in that case it's been added to that one you can just move it up further up and then distortions. You can move them around just to avoid putting it onto. Doesn't make any sense actually putting that there. So if you do that, put that there, you can see it's added to the Gaussian and then it just disappears because it's been applied just to that Gaussian blur, which makes no sense because there's no nothing for it to distort. It's just an effect. So it's no distortion of the Gaussian blur. It's possible, I guess, but it doesn't seem to work that way. So, so you can just drag that down and then you can see the effect. Again, double click on there and you will bring up the actual effect. Sometimes it doesn't appear, but you should. it should. If you double click that, it should appear. And again, you can modify the blending mode of the effect as well. So that's a whole range of different options there. And again, you can just then select there and move it down to that and then put it onto that picture. And you'll see lens distortion there and drag it down to there and the Gaussian blur there. You can actually just select there, so you can see, select just that little little icon, and you can drag that around, move that down, and so on and so on. So just select, and again, push that up there, move that up there, and then you can move that around again. It's just a layer that you can shift around, and you can also, if you go there, just select there, and you can say layer and duplicate. So you can actually duplicate the effect again just by just doing that and again click there, you can double click the effect and modify it. So it doesn't have to be the same as the previous effect. So, and again, you can modify, click up there and then change that. And you can see how it's applied to the layer below. It's just affecting that there.
And of course you can bring that back in again and so on and so on. And you can actually keep seeing modifying the effects in multiple ways. I'm just going to remove that. It doesn't really need that there. Okay. So what you can also do if you don't want that effect, click there. You can also just then go to a layer and delete. So get rid of the Gaussian blur and you can see then obviously just the lens distortion. And again, if you want, you can just then move it up there and so on and so on. That's it. Quick run through. I'm certain there's even more things that I could go through, but for these live filtered layers, but that's the basic things. You can just move them around, apply them to a particular layer, or just drag them up above the whole thing and just add them to all the, the images below. And also obviously move them, I'd say, onto an actual layer and all that sort of thing. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.